Good morning, Sandra Cruth and Innovision Health Tip for today. And before I go into my top tips, how would it be to subscribe to my YouTube channel? I'd love you to. And then you will get all the feedback as soon as my new top tips come out every week. So continuing as usual with my COVID theme, and I thought I'd talk about pressing the pause button. And I had a classic example today. I think I'm much more aware that people are less patient perhaps than they have been. There's a lot because of a height of anxiety, because we don't really know what's going on from day to day. One minute we can travel, then we possibly can't travel, and then we can get together, and then maybe we can't get together, and things are beginning to open out a little bit, but people have more and more concerns. So I think there's sort of like a heightened, chronic, ongoing level of anxiety with people now, and that can affect how we respond in difficult situations. And I had a difficult situation today where someone, um, I felt really sort of embarrassed me in front of quite a lot of people, or tried to. And I, I noticed how pressing the pause button is so empowering. It's so wonderful because getting in on who's right and who's wrong and getting back at someone actually doesn't generally work. And if, especially if it's done in front of a lot of people, I think it's really important to be respectful, but also, you know, say your point. And someone uh, pointed out something um, about me and it was, I think, quite unfair, really. And what I did was I thought about the situation from their perspective and thought, well, yeah, maybe that's uh, something I could understand. So I said to them in front of the group of people when I'd press my pause button and thought about it, I thought, actually, I can say sorry for my part and um, give my reason why I made the decision I did, which I still am completely happy with. I hadn't done him any harm in any way, shape or form. So I waited to the end of the course. So my top tips would be give it a moment to breathe, you know, before you make the decision on what you're actually going to say. So I took a breath, felt my feeling of discomfort and a bit embarrassed, actually, and then took a breath. And at the very end, I said in front of the group of people, I'm sorry, you know, you felt that way. Um, this was my reason for doing what I did. And it wasn't personal. And then I let it go. And it was such a lovely, empowering feeling because I didn't want to make the situation any worse for this person or myself at the time. So I'm really pleased with the way I managed it. And I think pressing that pause button, you know, I just need to let it go. I don't need to say anything more. Um, it's so great because you can always not say something, but you can't always take something back, you know, once you've said it. So I hope pressing the pause button you're feeling a bit irritable or a bit stressed or you know maybe you're overreacting at time will help you because it certainly helped me and it allows me to have more peace in my day.